And just to kind of uh, go to a topic I know we're going to cover like in advance, just kind of talking about obviously the fighters, you know, talking about interviews and just talking mm-hmm. about big names, you know, your guy, all Jermaine Sterling in, in recent memory, you know, how can we not talk about him? It's just such a whirlwind with, you know, and fight fans. One day they love you, one day they hate you. And I remember so many people talking in advance prior to, you know, him getting the belt. You know, this is like one of the best guys, you know, oh, yeah. one of the uncrowned champions. And then when, you know, unfortunate events happen, I, I, he's the one to blame for it. Yep. I mean, look, this is the, and this is the thing, I, I you know, it's funny. I talk with Aljo about this all the time. And I think he's, he's built different in that sense. Because like he... A lot of people, I think, it truly consumes like consumes them. Like I see guys, they're on their phones all day in terms of like they're looking through comments and stuff. These guys aren't even famous yet, by the way. A lot of these guys are still just like scrolling through their comments, like oh, what this guy say, and they're responding to everything. And I'm like, I, I it's funny. I've had this conversation with like every guy. Here. I'm like, dude, no one who's accomplished anything ever is going to be on their phones talking like that. Like really, just like no one. Like, like you look through that guy's Instagram profile that's talking shit. Oh, you're gonna, you're nobody. You're a clown. You're this. You're that. I'm like, that guy's got eight followers, no pictures. The guy's never done anything in his life. Like, what do we even talk? Like, why? To me, it's like it's a waste of my energy to even think about a guy like that. And I think to any sort of high performing athlete, uh, it would be the same thing. Like, why even waste an ounce of my energy when I have, quite frankly, bigger fish to fry? Like, I think everyone, um, in that sense. But that's it, just. Look, man, that's sports. That's sports in general. Like you're one day you're the best, the next day you're the worst. It is what it is. At the end of the day, you just gotta. I mean, you gotta know what you're in there for. Like for everyone, it has their own reason. I think that's the main thing. Like if you know why you're in there, yeah, none of that shit should matter, really. Definitely, and I know people like to criticize, you know, all Jermaine for not getting the belt. I guess the way we all envisioned anyone getting the belt, which is understandably so. And he knows this just as much as anyone else that you know there's a proving ground to come with his next fight. And I, I guarantee you that, you know, the people in the comments and the people who go on Twitter, you know, like the John Joneses who never stop kind of tweeting in a sense or the Conor McGregor's, <laughs> you know, uh, it just takes a different type of person. I feel like from his days, I know I watched a really, you know, beautiful video on Al Jermaine actually provided by the UFC where it was and talking about, yeah, right. the one about his wrestling where, you know, he came yeah. up in, in a rough household and it takes a different type of character and a different type of human being that's molded Absolutely. by, you know, adversity to kind of overcome this type of obstacle. I feel like the way he's gone about kind of dealing with the hate is something that only someone like Al Jermaine could do. Uh, I'm telling you, Dan, like, I think you're the only one I've ever spoken to to spot that out, quite frankly, because that's 100% right. Like, that's just how he is in life. Like, that's how he had to be in life, quite frankly. And I just, uh, to peep, I don't, like, I really just don't, no one, this is what I was talking about earlier before we even got in an interview, like, anyone with some sort of this, like, social understanding, like, understanding of, like, how just people function would should be able to see that like dude this guy this guy grew up with 84 sit not really but like fucking a lot of siblings and yeah. he just for him he's a survivor like for people to be like oh dude you're a pussy you're weak i'm like dude you're out of like, you have no idea who this guy like as a person quite frankly is but again like these guys for the most part these like fans or whatever you want to call them they see you in the cage 15 25 minutes they see you on social media and they think they, they know exactly who you are and that's fine. Like, honestly, you could, and that's, to me, I tell the guys here, I'm like, dude, take that, use that to your advantage. Let them think, like, let them think whoever you want them to think you are. Like, really, like, because if there's like 10, this is what I say, there's like 10 people in my life that I really, quite frankly, care about, like, what they think of me, because they're the only 10 people that actually know me. Like, everyone else knows me through Instagram or Facebook or, like, little tidbits I put out here and there. It's like, look, you got you know a tenth of who I am. Like, why would I care what your thought of me really is? Like, in general, not you, but, like, in general, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and I think Aljo does have that perspective. So, and again, like, just considering his how he grew up and considering, like, uh, look, the guy's already won in life. Let's talk, like, if we're just talking about that, the guy's already won in life, but goddamn, it wouldn't hurt to win that world championship the right way, too, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. And, you know, you talk about winning in life, you know, when the odds are stacked against you that high, you know, looking at the success he found, you know, wrestling in high school and college even. And just, you know, when the odds are stacked against you that badly and when you see, like, one of the things that irks me the most is when, you know, even after the fact, people are criticizing him for celebrating, you know, just a win. I guess it's not a win, obviously, I guess, to most people's yeah. eyes. And I, I guess I even know that Aljo, to a sense, wouldn't consider it a really a win. But... To not to neglect someone who's sitting there with their family and kind of celebrating the journey because you yeah. know statistically Aldo shouldn't even be here you know like when the odds are set against that's, you that's, that's high it. enjoying the journey and exp- and like really embracing it with your teammates you know guys you came up with you know just 
embracing hugging get out you know like celebrating something to an extent and making light of a shitty situation i, I can't even yeah. believe the audacity to where people kind of twist the narrative and make it seem like you know he's this he's this arrogant guy who like lucked out or like did some neymar type shit and like you know started rolling on the floor like take a knee to the fucking head and tell me you're gonna like you know yeah well, like, and again that's anything in life like people are it's so easy to judge people really it's just uh, for me too it's just easy to judge people so like i, I get it um, but I, I, this is something Aljo barely even mentioned it because he just doesn't give a shit about it anymore, which I think is the right way to handle it. But like, dude, he wasn't celebrating. Like the guy was, you know, he was fucking concussed from that knee after the fight too. Like no one he wasn't drinking nothing. Everyone, it's just his friends, his the people close to him were like, dude, you got here. You, you did nothing wrong. And they wanted to make that clear to him. Like you didn't do anything wrong. Like this, you know, it's a shitty situation, but again, exactly like you said, dude, you're celebrating. You got here. Like, like fuck everybody. Fuck all the everything like you got here when ninety nine point nine nine percent of people would like would never even Absolutely. dream of it. So like I mean, let them think whatever they want to think. But Aljo wasn't celebrating at all. Like, he was yeah, he was laying down on the couch and we they took one picture of him and then people lost their minds. And again, it just it is what it is, man. Like I, I we can't dwell on that kind of thing because the guys that if it wasn't that it was gonna be something else. 